Hey guys, do you know how to use cologne effectively? When, how, where, and how much? If you use too much, it's gonna put people off. If you use too little, no one's gonna smell it. And then, if you spray it on the wrong places, it won't have the effect that you hope it will. And smelling good as a man is super important because it's automatically gonna make you more attractive. Tom Ford said, good manners and good cologne is what transforms the man into a gentleman. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to put on cologne the right way. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get to the video. All right, so to use cologne effectively, you need to know the don'ts of cologne first, meaning cologne mistakes. Number one, if you spray it on yourself, don't rub it in. Why? Well, because it doesn't really work and it changes the top note of the cologne. And then number two, don't just spray the cologne in the air and walk into it. Why? because it doesn't work. And number three, don't spray more than twice on the same spot. Why? Because if you spray too much, it's gonna be overpowering. You know, those people who you can smell even before you get closer to greet them. That smell is so overpowering. and you just wanna get further away from them. Now, the rest of the cologne mistakes, I will need to explain with some of the other tips. So for now, let's move on to the when you should put on cologne. So what is the best time to put on cologne? Right after the shower, when you've put on your clothes. That is when you're clean, your pores are open, and it's the best time to do it. It's also great to do this at this time because then it becomes a habit and you will never forget to put on your cologne. Now, let's talk about where you should spray it on your body. So, where should you put on your cologne? Here, 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 where? Well, you can actually try a few different spots, including, which is the best, your pulse points. A pulse point is a spot on your body where there is more blood flow and heat, which causes the scent of the cologne to come out more. Pulse points are those areas on the side of your neck, on your wrists, on the soft area on the other side of your elbow, and even your temples. But of course, you're not gonna want to spray cologne here on your temples. Now, some people spray it on two spots, some three, some more than five, and some more than seven. Now, I personally put my cologne only on five spots. This is what works for me. I spray behind each ear on my neck. It works great, you'll get compliments, especially from your wife or your girlfriend. My wife loves it, and it's more intimate here as well. Then I spray on my back neck. Now, of course, this is not a pulse point, but I just like this area. A lot of people just focus on the front of their body, all right? But then they forget about the back. If you spray cologne here on the back of your neck, it doesn't matter where you go. You will always have a balanced scent all around you. Then lastly, I use cologne on both sides of my collar or the upper chest area. And some people say, ah, Daniel, you shouldn't do that. It's gonna stain. Well, I've been doing it for a long time and I never had any problems, never any stains. It probably depends on the material or the clothes that you wear, but I never had a problem. And I do it for a few reasons. The first reason is it smells nice and the scent will last a lot longer on your clothes than it will on your body. My wife loves it especially when I'm away for a long trip because she smells me at home when she is near my clothes. And then third, a lot of guys prefer to spray their neck here above the collar. But this is a problem, especially if you shave. Because if you shave, that cologne can cause red spots and irritation on your skin where you shave. Now you might say, hey Daniel, it doesn't look like you shave. Well, of course I do. I shave the top part here of my neck. So for me, I prefer the, the collar here or the upper area of my chest to spray the cologne. But if your fragrance wears off through the day, you can just reapply it here on your wrists. 
And then it's also very important to know another cologne mistake. Don't hold your cologne too close here to your neck when you spray it. It's just like, oh man, you can just feel that. Mm. It's just like hairspray. You can't hold it here when you spray your hair. You have to hold it around here, right? It's the same for cologne. So when you spray it, you have to do it like this, a little bit further back. More than 10 centimeters. What is that? Around four inches? Now, just a bonus tip. You need to know your cologne. They're all different. Some, they smell a lot stronger than others. So for example, if you use synthetic cologne, they're usually a lot stronger than natural cologne. So if you have a natural cologne, you probably need to apply it again later in the day. When I get cologne, it's very important to me that I get cologne that will last a long time. Then, Eau de Parfum EDP is around two to three times stronger than Eau de Toilette. Man, I struggle to pronounce this every single time I have to say this. Eau de Toilette. Toilet. I think about the toilet every time I have to say this. Anyway, when it comes to cologne, the notes are also very different. So you will need to know your cologne. And you gotta try it out. Test them out. In this video, I mainly use Dolce & Gabbana, the one for men. But I'll add my favorite list in the video description down below if you want to try out some great cologne. And hey, if you're new here to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and also click that notification bell so you won't miss any of my next videos. And you might like one of these. Now remember, life is short, so don't waste yours. Cheers guys.